Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I got my co-host Nux Taku, Oompaville is currently MIA at the moment, and uh, we've got an amazing guest, one that you may have heard on the internet, giving you juicy tales from the internet, Justin Wang. How's it going, hey, buddy? Hey, what's going on? You know, it's it's. I always thought like one day I would come here, but like I'm always so avoidant of doing podcasts just because but this time we actually have like a reason for me to be here so uh i'm glad i can make Dude, it for you so true my idol logan paul walked out of oppenheimer in the middle because it's just people talking Dude, I, 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 res- I, 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 no, I respect that logan knows what it's yeah, about yeah that's that's in, that's a good dumb guy honor like you can't like you can't sit there and torture yourself like that L- logan Dude knows runs what he wants. the driest <laughs> podcast in the in the country impulsive and he Dude, to start- you're right absolutely he does oh, win that God. honor i can't sit through an episode of that i've shit. watched a lot of bad podcasts a lot of podcasts from people i don't love to be honest but mm-hmm. i am never as bored as when i watch a good impulsive podcast you actually sit and watch it I've watched a couple of them, I think. Did you yeah. did you finish the whole video or like no? I don't think I've ever finished the that, exactly because if you did, I would have called you out on an obvious thing <laughs> why, but you know. <laughs> I'll be honest, like I just have wrestling podcasts on in the background the whole day, and that's the extent of me listening to podcasts anymore. Yeah, so dude. you must love Impulsive, dude. He's like a fucking uh, WWE yo, it's, god. Honestly, it's maddening how fucking good Logan Paul is at wrestling. It's ma- because it's like he's 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 better than half of the people on there that like trained that like this was their dream to be a fucking wrestler, and then he just shows up and it's just such a natural that it's it, it's just not fair, dude. It's just it, it's 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 the it, it, if it's something about the Pauls that I love is that they can just come into anything and just dominate it. There's there's yeah. a talent there that I absolutely fucking appreciate. They were made in a fucking lab. Now, there, there's actually a talent I appreciate from you, Justin, and it's not That's just a... telling tales on the internet. You're a fucking necromancer, bro. You brought back a channel <laughs> from three years ago to Yo, come back. Do- it's it's okay, so, so funny. I'll just let you know, I know absolutely nothing about this drama. You were well, talking dog, about it before, I, I, and all the way used to completely <laughs> over my head. I used to know everything there was to know about this drama. Then, like, several, several years passed, and I hadn't thought about Maddox a day in my life for probably, like, the past five years. And then I'm, one, then I'm walking home from my friend's house, and mm-hmm. I'm getting texts, like... The first time I saw of it was, um... One of my friends sent me a message that says, Hey, you gotta... You gotta sue Maddox now. And I'm like, what, did you just, like, watch a video from, like, seven years ago? Like, what? And then he tells me a, a, the hit piece had just dropped on me as I had been walking home. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Wait, what? what? Someone dropped a hit piece on you? Yeah. I, I tell you, I missed this entire saga. I have no idea what's going okay, on. Okay, so so I guess the best way to describe it is the uh, internet story man is going to have to tell us who the f*** Maddox yeah. is. So Maddox, Maddox is old school. Maddox, he's one of, like, the first... One of the first guys to really, like, pop off on the internet from just writing funny articles. He had the site The Greatest Page. Well, he still has it. And it's um, it looks exactly like it did back in the day, which I like mm-hmm. that about it. Um, it's the greatest page in the universe. He used to write all these, like, funny satirical articles where he's this angry guy who hates everything. Um, but he was, like, one of the first guys to really pop off from being funny on the internet. Um... At some point, he kind of transitions into making YouTube videos. He makes a podcast with this guy, Dick Masterson, called The Biggest Problem in the Universe, which it's essentially like every week they bring in, they bring in um, problems. Just They're cataloging all the problems in the world, and the fans vote on which are the worst ones. I, I just wanted really to also good... share the webpage here for funny. people who didn't know It was a really good was. podcast. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to share the page, actually, on the, on the screen yeah. here, just to show Bro, people. Bro, I just looked up his channel. His videos are tight. His, his titles are wild. Oh no! His his channel is a very antiquated channel. Oh my god! Yeah. So this is one of the original pages, and Spider like Justin Woman's says, big ass. What? Yeah, what yeah. Going? Like like to to yeah. be to be fair, it's it's literally like a that web should... page from like 2002, 2003. Here's a video know? titled "Ed Sheeran Makes Me Want to Become a Worse Person." I think he what might does have... that even mean? I think he might have actually started like ninety eight, ninety seven. With that webpage, Bro, so he's crazy. one of the original. Yeah, no, like, he's pages like when on I say internet, he's like yeah. one of the originals. He's one of the originals. And 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 you managed to make him mad. Yeah, because um, because like I said, I was a big fan of the original podcast before I even had a fucking YouTube channel. Um, and then when it ended, I was very invested in all the like the drama that happened. Um, at some point, they had a falling out. 
it it's never really explained for a while what the falling out is. It's just the, the last episode of Biggest Problem comes out. Dick's not on the episode. Mm-hmm. Um and then they just they they split off and make their own separate podcasts. People are asking, but like nobody's really like saying what happened. And at this point, I'm like I'm kind of watching both until eventually I kind of got bored of Maddox's one, but I think I stayed with it for like maybe like seven, eight episodes. But eventually, he drops this big hit piece on Dick. That like it's it's like the one he just dropped recently. It's full of misquotes and like deceiving in um. The ski- deceiving screenshots, if I recall, like it, it was very similar. You could tell it the same brain manifested these fucking pieces, mm. hmm. which so uh, you're of course like me, turns the I whole. Have, just that, just it, a conspiracy yeah. theory between friends. Obviously, don't like it's probably not true. I'm just saying. So this guy Maddox, right? He has two targets: one guy named and the other guy named Wang, and this is a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> What's funny is I saw I think it was our under his um the comments on his video. So it was like oh no, it was on Turkey Tom's video cuz like uh Maddox is deleting any comment that might mention or um anything negative about his video. But it was under mm-hmm. Tom's video where he's like oh man, I can't believe Dick and Wang, a guy named Dick and a guy named Wang are feuding. <laughs> man, there we go. I mean there that, that's that that's pretty fucking that's pretty fucking wild how you managed to bring Maddox back. And uh, so about this, so 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 you gotta get into a little bit more detail about like in him and Dick Masterson. So Dick Masterson, for those of you who don't know, I think the best, um, the, the the one thing that I know about Dick Masterson is if you ever watched a Doctor Phil clip of like the fucking original Andrew Tate clone, like he's floating yeah. around on the internet. That's that's the first experience of Dick Masterson I've ever seen. He's like a fucking got to your troll on the internet okay he gets yeah. me every time i see him show up and he, um it was yeah that, he had a appearance on the dr phil show a few of them actually where mm-hmm. he was playing like the dick masterson character which is like this over top misogynist guy that's getting all the women in the crowd to boo him yo he just like me for real he, uh, <laughs> he um, the best i remember so um there's like this one particular clip that went viral on um 4chan i think was like his first real big internet fame um and like you know those sections that show us like Doctor Phil, by the way. huh? <laughs> what a place oh, to get yeah. famous, by the way. <laughs> but um, if you uh, you know those sections of those talk shows where they're they have they have people in the crowd asking questions and they're talking to them all, and uh, mm-hmm. there's one where shit, he he said something like he oh he's 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 like he's getting booed on stage. He's like women line up to be with guys like me, and this woman in the crowd is like I would well, be at the end of that yeah. line. And then he's yeah. like, if you got on a treadmill, yeah. you'll be at the front. Yeah, <laughs> dog. Oh my god, the face she made. <laughs> the original, it was such a it was such a dude. good clip. Yeah, that, that, oh, yeah, that, that clip. Like, that clip. I like. I remember that own to this day. <laughs> it was so good, funny, and that's like. Hey, people who've come across him, I feel like they had no idea mm. about the podcast or any of that. That's like the one thing they know about him. Yo, if I could take your attention for just a brief moment, allow me to tell you and thank the wonderful people over at ExpressVPN for sponsoring this episode. You probably spend a ton of money to all these different streaming surfaces, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Prime. There is so much bad content on all of those platforms, and you probably pay for all of it. However, <laughs> since you started using ExpressVPN, you will be able to cut back and save so much every month. Allow me to explain. All these streaming services, like Netflix, actually have thousands more shows than you think. You just don't see them because they give you different shows depending on your country. So what you see on Netflix here is different to what someone in Italy or South Korea sees. See, Rick and Morty Season 5 is only available in, like, the UK, India, Belgium, South Korea, Italy, blah, blah, blah. You want to watch it? You're in America. You are stuck. Not anymore. You can watch whatever you want, whenever you want. On top of that, you can use ExpressVPN to get discounts. If you buy Netflix from Argentina, it costs a fraction of the price. Less than $7 a month, ExpressVPN pays for itself and so much more. So if you want to get way more shows and save money while you're at it, go to expressvpn.com slash SOP. Use my link. Get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free. expressvpn.com slash SOP. Link in the description. Back to the episode. Right. So now that you've brought back this guy, I want to talk about the charges that have been placed against you. Mm. Uh, notably, A, you're in a 
fucking shit tier new metal band, which uh, apparently new I metal am. is. Dog, what, all right, so what, what I'm so happy about this, and like, this is such a Maddox thing where he comes and tries to attack somebody, but accidentally enriches them. Um, so it's, I don't really push my band super heavily on the channel because mm -hmm. I, I recognize that they're different demographics. Like, there's some crossover. Sometimes people come to a show and they're like, yo, you know, I've never been to a show like this before, but I wanted to come because you're in the band. I wound up having a really good time. But in general, I don't push it super heavily because I know it's, it's separate things. He right. managed to do what I never did, and that's intrinsically linked the Wang brand with the Yo. Jinx brand. So now, like, people are actually, like, discovering the band from him trying to shit on it. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. That's glorious. And 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 then and then and then he gets into your fucking content, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the allegations here now. You're on a podcast where at least you know 33 percent of the hosts produce shitty content. Me, uh, and I and I know a thing or two about shit to your content, bro, my friend. You haven't been fucking sourcing. You haven't been doing shit, mm -hmm. Maddox. I watched that whole video when I was driving in Los Angeles, right? Uh -huh. Like just been back over to my Airbnb, and as we all know about LA traffic, every every place takes two hours to can get to even if you're like two miles True. away so i watched the whole fucking video and not one time did this goddamn piece of shit make a single fucking point that i was like huh okay the and then and then i read the comments to that video and i just want to start off by saying too before we continue it's not so much content creators that are even the problem it's the fucking it's a hearted community that watches it too you know <laughs> And I, and I mean that shit, okay? Like, sometimes I watch shit videos, and then I read the comments, and it's just dude glazing the fucking creator over the shittiest fucking points yeah. ever made. And I, I just want to say, like, it's, it's kind of like a symbiotic relationship of shit, okay? Like, people who are watching YouTube videos, be a little bit more fucking critical. This video that Maddox made was complete trash. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. A lot of people in his comments recognize that, but he deletes every negative comment. So... Uh. Like, See, I don't want to make that accusation. No, he, like, a, this is like a known <laughs> thing about him for years. Like, and it's it's extremely obvious that this is happening. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, you know, like, they have that plugin where you can see the likes versus dislikes, and someone yeah. look posted a screenshot of it, and it's it's something sitting at something like forty percent likes looks like. So Damn. it's like all Bro, the comments are not glowing like that. Is Wang a plagiarist, a hack, or just a plagiarist? That's like such a. Dumb I mean, titles. honestly, like, so the criticisms he levels against my channel, he could have framed this as, a, like, a takedown of the very genre of video essays. Mm -hmm. way, so, like, he'll say that, like, oh, well, I mean, first off, like, he starts it off by, like, oh, this guy seems to memorize, remember things from 30 years ago when he was just a child. And it's, no, it's called, like, you what? know, you read, you, research? You, you research something and then you can talk what? about it. I'm not... I don't think anyone well, who makes a well, video essay on YouTube is pretending they just know all this knowledge intrinsically. Well, well, well Wang, history channels aren't allowed to talk about f***ing Abraham Lincoln, bro. They weren't alive back then, dude. They were like, they, their, their great-grandparents weren't even alive back then, dude. What the f***? You have to be, you have to be that, from that period. That is the period. weirdest claim I've ever heard in my life. You have to be from that period to talk about it, right? Like, that's, yeah. that's basic Here's science. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, too. So, like, when I... Like, he tries to frame it as if I'll pick, like, one article and just read what's in the article. Mm -hmm. Whenever I do a video like that, I'll look up, like, what there is. Like, sometimes if it's a thing where I remember certain things, I'll go back to forums, see if they're archived and stuff. But a lot of times you'll come across several different articles about the same topic. A lot of times, these articles have, like, small contradictions among each other, but you can kind of see what the consistent facts are. Mm -hmm. So, when you have all of these different outlets reporting the same facts, that's just, like, what the basic facts are of the story. When I will cite something is if, like, you have a, um, like, say you have an interview and someone says something to that specific reporter, or some, someone who's covering it has a theory that that's their theory, that's when I'll be like, oh, well, it, it says in this uh, this particular article that, or this particular interview that this happened. To me, that makes sense to do it that way. Because I a lot of times... so weird. Wait, so at what... I'm, like, literally lost. If someone wanted to make any form of documentary, right? You know, the, the rise and fall of Keemstar, right? Are they not allowed to talk about things that they don't personally remember happening? Yeah, no, or like, that or like I think they need to like find the very first person who ever came up with, um, whoever came across a piece of information that cite that person. I am like yeah. so lost. That, that's that is uh, like see brain like trying, dead. 
I mean, no, no, nobody's denying that it, that it that it was a brain dead point. It's just like this is such a weird, like almost copy way of like shitting on somebody's content because the way that I'm looking at it in my head, it's like Gamer from Mars gets f-ed over, Oompaville gets f-ed over, I get f-ed over, you get f-ed over, Wang, uh, Sunny V2, every single channel that you know archives or researches a topic gets f- gets gets ruined. Like tomorrow, I'm, I'm making a video where I'm talking about how the FBI broke the law because because they did right. Like, mm-hmm. um, and it's actually in regards to um, have you guys ever heard of like you, you guys you guys have seen the dark web stuff, right? Like, yeah, yeah. So there's a there used to be a site called Playpen, which is like where they used to distribute pornography between each other. Like 150 thousand like people like registered onto the site, and the FBI took over the website. And actually ran a child forum for, like, 12 days. Oh, they ran it for 12 what? to 13 days. Uh, assuming as, like, a kind of like a honeypot type yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so they're so not they, doing it just to distribute it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they, 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 they took over that the That was fucking, just an added bonus. Yeah, they, they took over the forums and ran it for 13 days where uh, a judge, while they accepted the evidence that the FBI gathered, said that they acted so outrageously because they re-victimized kids, literally distributed child... And then also, that's wild. Oh my god! The judge, did they like not catch the people or something? Oh, they caught thousands of people. Oh, okay, it's good, just, good. it's just they, it's just they, it's like, it's like a fucking vice squad agent. You know, they when they do those drug deals with the undercover cops in the movies, it's like them selling the fucking drugs and letting them walk away for a little bit. Yeah. It's like okay, yes, so now they're yes. distributing so the drugs. Like it's out, it's out in circulation now because yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, so yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like. Fucked. It, it, it's like it's like you know it's one thing if like you're in the middle of a fucking drug deal you give them the briefcase of cocaine and then five minutes later you put the cuffs on them and it's like we got you now it's like you let them distribute the drugs to all the junkies and everything and you let this shit go on for a couple weeks so <laughs> you the make, judge even you said, make a good return on your investment first the, the judge even said in the case the FBI made the site easier to access like they fucking used their Bro. own servers to help the site access so they could raise oh. the user numbers and gather like as much information. The real problem was they they set in a warrant, like in their warrant that they were only going to check computers from like North Carolina or some bullshit, but obviously because it's the internet, they were just running searches on everyone, so it was a massive violation. Anyways, to bring this back to the point, I obviously wasn't there on Playpen Forum, right? I wasn't in yeah. the FBI. Like, whoa, 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 if yeah. you're not quoting anybody, then that means you must have been there. <laughs> yeah, but like... No, here's what, you, you're, what you're gonna have to do, Mudahar. You're gonna have to, like, put a link to Playpen in your, in your description, because that's citing your source. Well, like, I, you know, I would like to... I would like to credit all the files that helped this come to... Oh, man. Come to fruition. But, it, but it's like, it's like, the point is, it's like, when you're, when you're researching Searching a topic, right? Like, obviously, you're going to be gathering from sources, and there's going to be like a set of basic facts that everyone pulls he even from, says right? As much also, in his I think video. Yeah. Why, why would you need to like quote an objective fact? Yeah. Like, I don't like, know. Every time the I talk about how the quartering peed in his on his basement floor, I have to talk about how the first time I saw that it was on the H3 podcast or whatever. Like. I, I, then I, I suppose. Af- then immediately, immediately after talking about how I, I don't cite my sources, he's like, ah, if Justin would cite his sources, it would look a little something like this. And he plays a super cut of me citing sources from the same video. <laughs> oh my god, you're joking! <laughs> dead, oh, dead ass. That's, immedi- dude, that's what happens dude, immediately after. That That's where I kind of sat there. I'm like, Did he for- want anyone to take him seriously? Well, that, this that is the enough. saddest he's exposed the thing, attempt I've ever heard. What he really wanted was to talk about another guy that people like don't really care about, but then that aren't going to click on, so mm-hmm. that's Damn, what he really wanted. True. Well, so I guess the best way to counter it is you should tell the people watching, because this is what I love about the Stryzen thing. Nobody was going to watch the Maddox video. The only reason I watched it is because, like, Jen told me about it in the car. It's like, oh my god, Wang's getting fucking destroyed in the, in the... Not destroyed, but, like, he's telling me it's like it was on the mentions on, on, on X. And I was like, alright, we gotta see this video. And we just fucking laughed at it. But the thing is... When you when you post cringe on the internet, people talk about it and it gets signal boosted mm-hmm. like it is today. So, what is it that fucking Maddox does not want people to look up? What is it about he, dick? Like, there, um, there's like there's so many things, but the big one is the twenty million dollar lawsuit that he made. That like it has like a lot of funny twists and turns. That like I said, if we were doing this podcast five years ago, and Maddox clearly actually started making this video. Um, 
Wait, the lore would be very fresh. He was and... working on this video for five years. It, ha it had to be something to that effect because all of the screenshots in it are very, very dated. Like, he'll, he'll cite a video that came out in like 2017, 2016, and his screenshot will say three years ago. Oh my uh, god, yeah. dude. He um he cites me as having seventy four thousand Instagram followers, which I currently have like about one hundred thirty thousand. So, Social Blade doesn't go that far back for Instagram, but it's at, at the very least three years ago. That's crazy. Um, oh my god. But yeah, if, had he released it Talk back when he made the video, this information like will be fresh in my mind. But there's a twenty million dollar lawsuit against Dick Masterson, a serious Coconos, Patreon, a customer service representative at Patreon that he spoke to on the phone. Um. There, I, I believe there are a few more people. Oh yeah, there was this guy Mad Cucks involved in the lawsuit, <laughs> <laughs> which oh my, I was like, so when I was trying to refresh and this refresh myself collab, on the information, so yeah. like, there's this guy. Um, after the lawsuit began, there's this guy called Mad Cucks who is just like this the, another fan of the show. Um, this this fat dude who would dress up like Maddox and make parody videos of him, mm -hmm. and he started get real popular in Dick's um Reddit, Dick's Facebook group. He made some appearances on the show. Um. But he, at one point, he had made a joke, very obvious satirical joke that di basically, like he was a, it was all an op by Dick Masterson himself. He used an algorithm that was powered by Asterius Kokonos's job to determine which fan in the audience resembled the Maddox the most and make him be the parody, and hook him up with a bunch of Patreon bots. Because there was also a, a theory back then that uh, Dick was. Dick had, Dick wasn't really making as much money on Patreon. He was as he was. He um, had a bunch of bots doing it. Mm -hmm. So this is all like a satirical joke Why thing. Would he fake his but then Patreon? in the lawsuit, it takes the Mad Cucks quote about how they used an algorithm to find the most similar fan, and it's in the lawsuit saying that he did that. What that he the actually fuck? that it's in the lawsuit accused like saying that Mad Cucks was actually found in this manner. That funny enough, in the video that I made about that specific thing. I had mentioned it, it's like that technology doesn't exist, but I feel like we can, the, the technology for that exists now. Mm -hmm. We literally could use AI to, to like determine which is the most similar fan. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's kind of how they do like f***ing handwriting and like stenography on the internet and all that f***ing shit, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but regard, that was like one of many, oh, alright, so let's get into some of the, um, the, the uh, censored screenshots of doxing that occur in um, Maddox's video. Yeah, so, I saw you post about this shit, yeah, bro. That's like, that, this is like, there's like a lot of egregious shit that happens in here. And here's the thing, too. I think a lot of, when people watch something like this, they have a compulsion. They want to be fair. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are coming to this video like, oh, well, it's, the stuff about Justin is bullshit. But this is Stereos guy, he seems like a piece of shit. So it's, it's almost like that, that marketing tactic where, you know, you try to charge a million dollars for something that no one's ever going to pay. But then the, the $10,000 thing in comparison looks reasonable. Mm -hmm. True. But there's a lot of like there's a lot of just outright bullshit about Asterios in this video too. So there's at one point he posts something about a he says something about Asterios posting his girlfriend's phone number, and he has this like this what appears to be a sent a phone number that's like he posted to Facebook that's censored. If you were to remove Maddox's censorship, you would see that the phone number that's uh, Maddox's girlfriend's phone number, who by the way uh, Dick has a restraining order against. Um, okay. He, uh, the, the censored phone number is 8675309. What? What? Are we allowed to give this away? <laughs> wait, Hold wait, do you, do you guys not go, know the reference? No, no, no. We, no. You, gotta, you gotta fill us in on this. Oh, there's a song from the 80s, Jenny. And the chorus is 8675309. Oh my god, you're so, kidding that's me. So, that's, um, I feel like the audience is all gonna be too young to get that f***ing joke. I think be I think Asterios might be like ten years older than me, so like that's of course that's the joke he's gonna go to, but uh, yeah, the doxing was. I, I assure you that Maddox's girlfriend that Asterios doxed is not Jenny from from the song. Bro. From the, yeah, it's, not, it's not Jenny from the song. No. And then so all right, so the thing that I had posted in that group, the um the speaking engagement, mm -hmm. so he's saying that I did it to um to get him removed from the panel. Which, first of all, I didn't even know there was going to be another panel. At least I don't think this is like I was saying. This is like five, six years ago at this point. I don't think I knew about there being another panel besides the one I posted. Um, but I posted it because L.A. is not a, a cheap city to live in. So no. it's kind of a running thing. Like, how is this guy possibly affording this? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, he's, he's he got the speaking engagement here where 
the man who famously had a website that got like 10 million views a month, I think it was back in the day, and never made a dime off of it because he was too prideful to monetize it. The guy who had a YouTube channel that it was in free fall and even at its peak probably wasn't making that much money. He's on a panel talking about how you can make money online. So to me, that's pretty fucking funny. That is pretty funny. Yeah. Although I feel like almost everyone that talks about how to make money online or get rich or get a channel, hit 10 million subscribers, most of them don't actually have any of those things that they're promoting. Oh, no. Largely, I see ads for that type of shit pop up all the fucking time. And yeah, sometimes those they're guys legitimately just watch from like, the sidelines and just yeah. can tell you what you can do. It's like the people that have hindsight or whatever the fuck, you know? True. Yeah. Uh, fucking, um, oh, so like he's... He posts a screenshot of me, like, posting the information from the panel, but everything he has on it is censored, and he says, oh, he's posted their contact information to make it seem like it's all their phone numbers and email addresses or whatever. That's, mm -hmm. no, that's, if you uncensor that image, it's just the name, it's like what the panel's called, the names of the people on the panel, and, like, what they do. And the, the funny part about that is, like, it's, like, Maddox, uh, George Azunian, YouTube celebrity. And oh that's, God. that's who they're paying to... Learn money making advice from. That's. I am blown away. This is the most pathetic cancellation attempt I've ever seen. <laughs> this dude needs to collab fuck? with Illuminati to come up with something really good next time. <laughs> like that. That'll be the the villain arc we all needed. It's like they they are the team rocket of YouTube cancellations. And what's funny that so like he, I like he has me blocked and everything obviously, mm -hmm. but then like obviously. if I post anything about it, he'll screenshot it and post it to his carefully curated um group of fans who aren't blocked yet. So he was like, so I posted my explanation on Twitter about how, like, I wasn't trying to cancel you. I just thought it was funny that a, fa a guy who's, at this point, famous for being broke is giving people money-making advice. Um, <laughs> he's like, oh, so you're, oh, so I'm not, you're saying I'm not just a, I'm not a bad guy. I'm just kicking a man when he's down. And it's like, dog, you don't get to take that moral high road. When, like, back in the day, you would write shit. Like, he had an article on his fucking website. Do you know who Elizabeth Smart is? Yeah. No. Yeah, he had uh, a 14-year-old victim. 14-year-old girl who was kidnapped in her He had oh an article God. making fun of her and how she could have done better to escape oh being Oh, my her. God! So you <laughs> what? That, that, dude, you're kicking, joking! Kicking, okay. You want, you want to talk okay, about wait. kicking wait. someone when they're down. You don't, that's like... <laughs> I had no idea that article existed. You mentioned it's Elizabeth not. Smart, and I was like, oh, yeah. man, this is like f***ing yeah, my head. Like, I'm like, we're going I'm, dark. I'm sorry, oh, my God. Like, of what course, like, I regret, I'm not trying to cancel him for having written that article. He was play, ostensibly being a satirical character, then, who's the character is an asshole character who would say something like that. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm not, I'm not trying to cancel him over that, but you don't get to take the kick of a man when he's down high road when that's in your f***ing repertoire. Oh, my God. God, dude. I, I feel oh so my dirty God. having heard that. What the? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's That's uh, like on a similar topic. He talks about so like the the Heather Smith thing, the person who made the false accusation against him. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely don't condone anyone making false accusations against anybody. Uh, but it's, he doesn't get yeah. into why where the Heather Smith name comes from. See, Heather Smith, at a certain point, he was posing as a journalist named Heather S., who worked for Condé Nast, which is a media conglomerate. They had um, a bunch of publications. I remember Jezebel was one of them. Um, maybe Huffington Post, but I don't recall exactly what who's in all in that network. But, so he's posing as this journalist, Heather S., trying to get Asterios fired from his jobs over the course of phone calls and emails. Mm -hmm. And when you look into that... Heather S, which is it's so funny. He like because in the in the um the video, he's like, oh, he they used this woman's uh, which is uh, they meaning a person who followed me that I didn't fucking know. Um, they used this poor woman's face without her consent or knowledge. Heather S, Damn. the per the he the person he was impersonating at, there was a real Heather S who was a journalist who worked for this company. So you were you were the first person to impersonate this poor woman. Brother, <laughs> what dog. The like the whole thing is just fraught with like lies by omission and li another. All right, here's another another juicy one. So when he goes to Asterios, uh, Asterios, Asterios using Kiwi Farms. When he goes to Asterios posting mm -hmm. on Kiwi Farms, he's like, well, Kiwi Farms is also the uh, the site that um, has people say things like this, and they sh he shows this uh, screenshot from a user named it. It's like ass 
Just 1488 or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Exactly, exactly <laughs> what you expect from Kiwi it's Farms. Like, po uh, posting something. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, it says something like, Maddox is a bold, gay, hard or And he, like, types the whole fucking word out. Um, hard or oh, like, N-word. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And then, at some point, like he, he posts that in the middle of all the screenshots of Asterios' actual posts. Then at some point, he, sh he posts... Aster he puts Asterios' Twitter bio up. And the quote from Ask... 1488, but removes for Asterius 1488's profile picture and puts the quote next to Asterios' face. Like, basically tried to talk. Dude, so what a Weasley shithead. <laughs> what the f That's some evil like, you know, shit, villain shit, uh, dude. Uh, yeah. That and, now, oh my! I, I didn't even realize this. Like, I was watching Dick's uh, stream last night. I love how, I love how you're out. having like all these like flashbacks. Yeah, because like, like my, my, my thoughts are very disorganized <laughs> on it. I, did, I didn't come with like I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna like look down look down at the fucking um that was I'm not gonna look down at the thing. Yeah, that, you're that, not that, looking you know. at the abyss of shit. <laughs> I, I have, this, yeah, yeah. This this time I have like nothing to look down on while I'm talking. So you know. Um, I, I, I so love he, it, dude. The, the, the quote from Ash 1488. Uh, <laughs> he, he, it's, it's, he has another version of that. He, he clearly types up himself because it's not in the Kiwi Farms font and it's on a white background. Mm -hmm. So the one that gets put next to Asterio's face, Maddox had to sit there and type the quote himself. The, uh... Bro. Yeah. Ugh. This, this is, is just sad. This is like... I'm like sad now. I, I I actually love the fact that Maddox is like just straight up self ruined himself pretty much in front of the eyes of most people watching. Yeah, it's it's well, the funniest thing to me is like now there's so many people. Most I feel like most of the people I know now are just totally detached from any of this lore. So I have like real life friends like finding things out about this guy and texting me, mm -hmm. and my, most of my real life friends are very very not online. So like you know like guys like us we talk about this and it's like oh yeah this is just the kind of like nut jobs we get on the internet. My yeah. real life friends like they're struggling to wrap their brain around this sort of person. Yeah, I mean like it's trying to like unpack like and I've always kind of like maintained this if you're if you're a content creator on the internet, you you're, you're f***ing mentally insane, okay? Like 100%. Oh yeah. Like not oh, none yeah. of us are normal guys. Yeah. Oh, no. No, god no. <laughs> like I I've said this like even on the show I'm like you know how like people live stream and stuff I'm like just think about how insane that is you are sitting in front of a computer monitor screaming into a fucking microphone for hours on end you know like just some straight Dude, you are talking to yourself for yeah. hours and i mean that that's how you turn into like xqc right like you turn into like a fucking you know <laughs> melon year one you start off strong. Melon? <laughs> yeah year one you start off strong and then like a few years down the road you're like your brain is like mush okay it, it's Not a fucking neck. Yeah, it's dude. It's a it's a it's a it's a tale as old as time itself. Yo, I I my fate. Listen, my fate. <laughs> one thing I have to say about French Canadians, the French Canadian swear words are my favorite swear words. They, of they get all so time. hyped when you say them too. No, like, but that's it's, like it's one of my just, favorite things about Tory in Canada. It's not just that they get excited about saying it. No, no, no. Most swear words are like you know. Uh, synonyms okay mm -hmm. it's like something vile like sex and stuff like that but in french or in french canadian specifically every swear word is like a holy object from the bible yeah it's just <laughs> it's all like all is the swear tabernacle words you know it's like tabernacle. It, it's all straight blasphemy all of it no but you, there was no, like if you were, here's there was a, word a story advice. that we were taught in, in history i'm from montreal there's oh, a story oh, okay, that we so were you taught know. in like uh, a history class and because history in montreal i don't know if it was the same thing in ontario but history in montreal is a joke the mm -hmm. entire subject is not world history it's just canadian history and nothing ever happened in canada so you have to learn about how christopher columbus the beaver in canada at some point and that's actually going to be like the major talking point so apparently there was this whole war that went on at, and uh the French that were living in Canada at that time when they would, you know, rush their enemies, Esticarles, Tabernac, and then they would, like, say all that fun stuff. They thought they were going up against religious zealots, and they retreated. The biggest dub Montreal or Canada has ever gotten. I don't know how true that story is, but I believe it. Dude, what the f***? <laughs> no, the, the biggest dub that Canada got is the f***ing... The, the, the two dollar... Uh, the toonie, bro. Yeah, you know, no, the two, the two dollar of in um coin pitchers of beer at Le Fufu Electronique. Oh, <laughs> wait, two dollar beer? Egg like, dog, exactly, bro. Pitchers of beer. I don't know if it's still like that, but they had that when I went there. 
Two dollar. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold Two dollar pitchers of beer at Foofs. And that's Foofs. that's got to be like from the bathroom septic tank, though. That's not real beer. I think it's only on Tuesdays. That's still so, you know, $2 like, beer, yeah. bro. What the yeah. f- I would never trust that shit. <laughs> I, I think it's just Molson they give you, so. Yeah, which is AKA the shittiest yeah. fucking beer known to man. <laughs> you know, I've been on my dad beers lately, though. You know, you know, this is what I love about, like, you know, recently I had that Bud Light protest or whatever the fuck uh-huh. it was, right? And this is what I love oh, about yeah. protests like Bud Light. It's such an easy thing to protest, you know? Like, you go to a fucking bar, and I, you know, that's what I hate about when you go to a bar. It's like, you see, you always find that one pretentious piece of shit sitting at a bar, like, looking over all the taps, and he's like, mm, I wonder which one I get today. I'm like, they all taste that's, like shit, bro. That, that's me. I'm, that guy. I'm literally that guy. <laughs> Wait, you're actually the tap? I'm, that, I'm, I'm the, the fucking tap guy. I'm, you know, oh, I'm I like, I'm, I'm, you. Sometimes, sometimes I'll even get so egregious as to ask the bartender, hey, what, what sours you got today? What sours you? Oh What's my that? god! Yeah, I would I'm that fucking, fucking strangle I'm that you fucking if we went drinking. <laughs> I would uh, strangle you if we went drinking. What the? F- that is insane. <laughs> no, but like, but like when you go somewhere like that and you sit down and it's just like, it, it was one of the easiest things that I ever saw online to protest because I'm like, you could literally just walk away and immediately yeah, start I've fucking been, drinking something. I've been else. Prosti- <laughs> I've been protesting Bud Life my whole Bud Light because my whole life because it fucking sucks. Damn. Yeah, Bud Light You're usually so was like, it, but it's the only drink that people bring. Like, it's just whatever they bring to the fucking like, yeah. like a uh, like party. Like for me, all right, there's there's only one beer that I remember. It gives me a homey vibe. It's Bush Light. You know why? You know why Bush Light hits me even hard? It's because it's the only fucking beer my uh, best friend's dad will drink. I went over to his house. Mm. Lives in a fucking nice place, dude. Brilliant house. Like an absolute. You know, puts puts the I would I would say it's probably one of the best houses I've ever seen. So clearly he got money through his life. Motherfucker will still only drink Bush Light, dude. It is, it is, yeah. it is like it is like ingrained into this dude's fucking DNA. At I this feel point. like that's that's Honestly, like any guy saying. in the U.S. with like a good union job. Like they have money, but they still like they're gonna drink a beer. It's gonna be like some some sort of dad beer. Did you did you did you ask those like the guys that ain't asking the fucking bartenders about sours? Did did you did you see the did you see the clip of Ted Cruz today? Oh my god! Wait, what? No. no. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's, like, he's, like stand, he's like standing with a bunch of guys. He had, he's got like a posse of like old Southern guys standing behind him holding beers. And he's like, "You're gonna tell me to drink two beers a week? You can kiss my ass." So you drink some beer. I'm, I'm gonna, he takes I'm like gonna, the, the, the most baby oh sip of beer God. you've ever seen. I'm, in your I'm, fucking I'm gonna, life. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you guys this craziest video. Like, like ima- imagine a guy watch that and be like, "Yo, Ted Cruz right. is a." F- a badass. Nux, since you haven't seen this video, get ready oh, to laugh. Good. I'm it's ready. It's I'm so ready. Good, dog. I'm ready. <laughs> so you see this? Like, fucking drinking beer with the cool. Like, watch this now shit. These ready? These idiots have come out I'm and ready. said, drink two beers a week. That's their <laughs> guideline. Well, I gotta tell you, if they want us to drink two beers a week, frankly, they can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That was the oh, yeah. babyest sip I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. It's a longer video. Got him. I love how it's a twist off too, so it's just even more yeah. fucking I, sad. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Was it a twist off? It's a pretty good beer. Yeah, it's was good it a twist beer. off or did he just beer. have the cap already open before he took it? Dude, this guy in the back's just going off. He's like, yeah, I'll drink two beers. Like, like, you know, he's only just like the guys in the back. Like, he's like he's telling them to, uh, yeah, he's like, all right, guys, don't drink your beer until no, no. I give my f-ing command. I have so to like, thank you. Oh, it's like, can I drink my beer already? <laughs> Dude, these guys are just like the most king of the hill. F-ing, this is the most king of the hill Luda, convention I've You are I've ever a true seen, friend. Dude. A true friend. Because this beer clip is perfect. You know what? You what? What's perfect for, my friend? What? It is a perfect segue to drum roll, please. The Aiden the Ross Aiden clip, Ross of, the, oh, clip dude, of the I love week. That clip. Let's go. I'm out of focus. I'm sorry. Oh, I just got very in. excited for a second. I posted it in the chat here. You could share it with the audience. Oh man, let me. The f- Aiden Ross clip of the week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're ready. I hope you're happy. I dude, am. I I'm always excited about the Aiden Ross clip of the week. Watching my favorite. It's the best segment on the podcast, dude. I, yeah, you this... might be like the best dumb guy going. Yo, the Lane, best can you guy? please, yeah, this, this, please listen, do a, a compilation champ- like, episode? have a championship belt for dumb guys. <laughs> like, Logan Paul can run for it. He can run for it. If Dude. we ever miss well, he's, a he's week the of the podcast. Right now. <laughs> Oh, and Aiden Ross is the reason king. is the reason I've is the reason I've like made a written agreement like a legal agreement 
with Jen. I'm like, we will never conceive in the state of Florida in our fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't risk that shit. Oh, no. All right, chat. Spent 10 hours on this flight, man. Beer, right. beer. Let's go. Yo! <laughs> oh my god, yo! Oh my, oh my! I can't. All right, I can't even make. I can't even make fun of this because all right, the first time I shotgunned a beer in my life, oh, fuck. I was on. I was on tour with the oh. world we knew. That was the band that I was in at the time, and like they were, they were all like straight edge guys except for me. Yeah. And um, so like it's me. Like I think like Tim had like a soda that he was shotgunning. Tim, um, he like, he plays guitar and fit for an autopsy now, but we were in the world we knew together. He's straight mm-hmm. edge. Shotguns a coke, and I'm shotgunning a beer, but I didn't know how to shotgun a beer, so I basically did the same thing that Aiden Ross just did. But so, but and, you like, know what you didn't do? You didn't do it on camera and then yeah, upload it to your own true. channel. If, if this hadn't been like 10 years ago, it probably would have been on camera. That? But, uh, that but, so basically, I got out shotgunned by a fucking straight edge guy. Damn. Dude, I'm That's I'm rough. blown away. That was, that was the, that was, every time you bring up the Aiden Ross clip, I genuinely get shocked at how many there are, you know, like. <laughs> Like, like Wang said, he's the, okay. I really okay. did a lot of research. Okay. I did a lot of research. You don't understand, Muda. I have like four Aiden Ross clips ready. However, I needed a segue. I don't just bring it up out of nowhere. I don't just pull it out of my Dude, ass. That was, that was the best fucking segue. <laughs> no, you, you know what? Speaking of like dumb guys, I think Wang, you're about to get you're about to get like the best content. Okay, like two years from now, this is like already in the pressure cooker. Actually, great content for all of us. Me more so much in the current day. Have you guys heard that f***ing Sneeko, Aiden Roth's Fousey? Oh my god, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh this, no, don't the, even say it. dumbass Neon or whatever the f*** that Indian kid is. You know they're fucking, they're thinking of a content house together. I know. Yeah, I saw that. I can't believe it. It's like, un- it's, I am blown away that you can have so many idiots that want to work together. Remember how I said like, uh, I think it might have been months ago on the podcast, Knox, where I was like, I would love to have, like, my, my goal of content is to just start a crack house. Like, a content crack house. I do remember you saying like, that. Like, unironically, yeah. just have, like, a like crack house. Like, you're all just, like, selling crack out of the house? No, no, no. Just, like, literally a content of, like, the most degenerate, dumbass creators. Like, the stupidest Bro. people in the world. Put them in a house. And then, and then I just throw in, like, bags of crack every now and then. Okay? Like, fucking kind of, like, isn't food. that just fish tank? Isn't it? Yeah, but Fish Tank yeah. wasn't handing out it, it, drugs. It, it, it's Fish Tank, but with drugs. Yeah, fi- oh. <laughs> which which so makes it even tank. wilder because Fish Tanks. Oh, yeah. The the problem with Fish Tank was nobody was on the influence of anything at the time. All right, so at yeah, crack I mean, they, the they got they were, they got drunk a lot. They got drunk a lot, but I mean, like you know, when you just throw when you throw alcohol, crack, and a bunch of shit into the mix, yeah, it's the best petri dish for content. Dolly, they were just like lining up fucking coat, like just like fucking. Had them snorting their rails all fucking night. That'd be fucking good. That that that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so these guys are coming together. I can't wait to see the content that they produce. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's kind of like what's that? Uh, it's like the Ice Poseidon Content House. And you know, back when Ice Poseidon used to do the LA Content House before they were raided by the FBI, funniest shit the in the world. It's so weird. But. Ice kept it cool. Ice was, and I'm gonna say it like it is. He he was a good tard wrangler. Okay, anytime yeah. somebody did some wild Absolutely. shit, he walked into the room. He like can put the leash on. He's like, all right, we're we're pulling you back. With Aiden Speaking Ross, of um, mm-hmm. YouTubers being like on drugs and drinking lean and all that fun stuff, are you ready for the second Aiden Ross clip of the week? No way. He he's, oh. he's sipping lean. Are you ready? On camera? Right, I'm I love sorry. that shit, dude. I love you that just, shit. You, you I, gave I, me I, a second segue. I'm going to run out of ammo for next week. But I, I'm I, sure I, lo- I love this shit. There's, there's no... There, oh, my God. This is a fucking... This is, this is an Andrew Tate and Aiden Ross clip. I love this shit. I love it when you get two fucking clowns in the <laughs> same fucking one. video. <laughs> making the most stupid life choice I have, me, personally, Top G, ever been witnessed <laughs> here. Ever. Wait. Never Wait. on Earth. Nobody has told me a more stupid decision. I decided to stop going to the gym so I could focus on consuming liquid heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. I'm, I'm... Explain to me. You're go- it's Monday morning. Okay. <laughs> to go to the gym, right? Yes. <laughs> what happens on Tuesday when you to your 
explain to me what happens i need to understand this now you're going to the gym you're getting in shape you're looking better and then you decide to become a drug addict it's Please, so impressive like you can start respecting sure andrew Tate now. so i had a Just somebody time, come dude. to me i was down i was down you know what i'm saying i was really really fucked up Oh, by the way, you, uh, you were still in jail, by the way. Just wanna, I want to make I'll that. I was in jail. I wasn't taking drugs. Hey, I blame you, though, bro. You're my f***ing role model. <laughs> it's, the, it's the saddest clip <laughs> in the world. You know, it's yeah. like, the best part about this clip. Oh, my God, dude. It, Andrew starts out, like, it, it, the first time I've been like, man, this is, like, literally me. I'm like, how the f*** do you start doing liquid heroin? And then in the end, he flips it around, like, well, you weren't there, Dad. Well, you were what in was jail, I supposed Dad. To do? <laughs> love this guy you know you and know, the funniest thing is you watch a clip like that and you're like damn andrew tate's a real one like that dude he's putting this this scumbag this kid who's on drugs he's putting him back on the right path like andrew tate he really is a top g mm -hmm. like that is once you have aiden ross in the room you can start respecting andrew tate and it, it's impressive like i have never been in a situation where i could see someone that i think is a pretty not nice fellow and then just by the fact that he's next to such an idiot you start to respect the guy it's it's a phenomenon it's a phenomenon that leads me right into the third aiden ross clip of the there's week just, there's no way it gets wilder than him doing my it god it gets better yo this because is, now okay. you're gonna see how right. sneeko makes you think aiden ross is a genius okay 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 listen i'm gonna say it like it is i think aiden ross is a cia plant in our community Yo, true. Like, I'm just gonna say it like it I is. This man, this man is a fucking central intelligence agency plant. All right. I literally start. I, I literally on click I on the video. I literally click on the video. You know the first fucking thing that I see in the subtitle. Hitler. Like. That yeah. sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, what's, 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 your evil? Evil? what's your criteria of evil? Murder? Look up the definition of evil. I'm asking you. You Dude, want me to just say this so bad? Too. You, you uh, need me to say the same thing as you so bad. Yeah. What is your criteria of evil? Profoundly immoral and, and, and wicked. Yeah, I think he did. He was. Uh, he did commit some wicked behavior. So is he is he evil? I don't want to say the same thing that you're saying, man. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want. To know. This is oh, the one, and now you're like, damn, Aiden Ross is a real one. This Sneeko guy must be a total dude, idiot. Dude, I, I love how, like, I love how with the with these Red Pillar guys, it's like, when you say the most basic shit, like, was Hitler bad? Well, okay, let's get into the technicality. Dude, I we mean, gotta define can, what bad is. Yeah, what does bad even just mean? Say it's bad. And so, well, what's really funny about that, though, like, he, essentially, like, so Aiden d defines what he thinks evil is, and Sneeko agrees with him by those terms, but then he just refuses to say it. Yeah, and and he, refuses that, clip, he refuses uh, to have a clip out there of him saying that Hitler was evil. He does. Like, uh, he does, he's afraid he's going to betray his audience if he suddenly no, starts No, that's what I thought process. He's like, oh, actually, Sneeko said Hitler is evil, so he's a cuck now. Well, I mean, like, if you ever, Damn. like, and this is, this is the wild thing about the internet, too, now, right? It's like, ever since these, like, Nick Fuentes types, like, they used to be sitting in a corner on, on the internet for a little bit, right? Like, post-2016, you know, you're, and, and Alex Jones... While I always think he's a funny, you know, idiot, he he does like he he has reach, right? Like he says some really fucking insane wild shit. But for those of you who don't know, Nick Fuentes really fucking wild on the internet, and I don't mean that like in in the Twitter sense where everyone's a Nazi. I mean like this guy genuinely believes in the fucking Fourth Reich. You know what I mean? So he used to sit in Man the corner wants of the to internet. to commit a holy war against Jews. Yeah, so he sits in the corner of the internet, and these guys sort of like, they're, they're not all the way there yet. They're too stupid to be in that camp. But they interact with this guy, and then they're like, you know, they've created an audience where, like, them saying that the earth isn't flat, that, you know, the Jews aren't evil, you know, the, and all that shit is, is a controversial take, right? Like, like... It, if, 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 like, and that's, that's the, probably one of the worst markets to be in, you know what I mean? Because you have to be a genuine, like, idiot to believe that shit. Which these guys aren't totally stupid, so they're kind of sitting over there pretty much handcuffed well, by their audience. Sneaker. Well, the thing that I always find so funny about this shit, about, about that community is, like, you know how they're always sitting, like, we're free, we're allowed to tell you what we want and all that shit, and everyone else is a cuck? Like, we're all yeah. cucks and we can't do anything. Bro, I, I can have disagreements with my audience all the time. In fact, I do. If these guys say one... If he, if, the, if, he, if Sneeko says Hitler isn't bad, he's like f***ing shitting on 80% of his audience right there. They're going to turn on him. Like, today this morning, I saw him, like, hitting up some star girl on the internet, right? And I was like, boy, this is a real, real Islamic arc for him, you know? <laughs> he's 
fucking is really sticking to the teachings there. And the entire, like, fucking comment section was, like, just shitting on him. And I'm like, dude, if I had an audience like that, I would just log off the internet and be done with it. Like, there's just that's no the, reason to keep going. That's the danger of cultivating an audience where it's, like, their whole attachment to you is just that they agree with you. And that yeah. there's not really anything else to it. I mean, you want your audience to be I able to I don't even know disagree. if they agree with him as much as they just want to see the world burn kind of thing. Right. I, 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 I don't even feel like his takes are that interesting that it's, like, to agree with or disagree with. You know, he's, he's just, just a, he's a, he's a, he's a dumb guy. It's, it's all it comes down to. Did you see the clip of him this week saying that the red pill is kind of dying now? So he decided that, well, time to jump yeah. on IRL streaming because I don't, I never really believed in that shit anyway. Yeah, no, like, I'm not going to lie. Like seeing that clip, it almost makes me respect him a little bit because it's like, all right. If like you were a very, so if you're aware that you're just grifting an audience of fucking morons, secure the bag, bro. Like... Yeah, sure. honestly, at that point, it's like it's 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 just respectful, and you can be so open and upfront about it. Like, it's like I I couldn't be down that road, but I mean to see somebody so yeah. brazenly do it, it's like, congratulations, you're doing the one thing that I have too much pride for. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like sometimes and what it is too. It's like you could do that, but it's like you already make enough money. Like I don't really like I don't really need to do shit I don't want to do because I more or less have whatever the fuck I want anyway of doing what I do want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you don't need to like... It. The thing is, the the other thing is like, in, I, I don't want to look like a, a, a fucking retard in front of my peers, right? Like, it's the same thing that I had with XQC, right? Like, me and him had that public, like, react shit, and it was like, it, part of me wanted to like, fly over in person and be like, just don't tweet, like, we'll talk together because right now you look like a fucking dumbass. And, and, and it sucks to sit over here ratioing you that's, every that's, that's day. That's kind of his brand, though, is looking like a dumbass, though. So, Dude, but, like, here's the, I never really thought of XQC as a total dumbass. Like, he was no. loud and eccentric I back mean, during the gaming To be fair, with French days. Canadians, sometimes you can't tell. Well, like, cause I always Damn. thought that he spoke really fast and he played video games. And that was pretty much what it is. But now him and, like, you know, some of the kick guys, they're acting like f***ing rappers and shit, flexing, like... You know these these watches and all that crap. Like I'm wearing your whole house on my wrist type shit. It's like you don't need to do that. Like you know, fucking rappers might have to do it because they don't. They're not really talented in the first place, anyways. All of that shit is just like a fucking media machine oh. coming together. So I don't understand why they're going down this road, anyways. It's like you get a little bit of money and fame. It's like Fousey, right? Like you get a little bit of that money, fame, and clout, and you become like a total like, douchebag, right? And it's like, nobody finds that endearing, especially in our communities, right? Like, and then when he's flexing to, like, Ethan Klein and everyone, like, I don't know if somebody ever told you, but, like, you guys are both really well off, you know? Yeah, one is slightly more well off than the other, but that, yeah. that doesn't, like, if you're using that to invalidate criticisms, like, I never mention money, but he always brings up, like, are you pissed about ad revenue and everything? I'm like, no, I, no one is bringing up money in any of this situation. I'm actually just talking about the long-term effects on stuff. Um, and, and that's when I realized that I was talking to a fucking brick wall and I should have known better as a Canadian speaking to a French Canadian, somebody of my own country, I should have known better, you know, like uh, that was actually an L on me and I can fully own it, right? Like arguing with XQC was just a waste of my fucking time. I mean, no, it wasn't. It was funny. It was, it was funny. Was like, it was funny. It, but like, it, it, the, the part it, it was funny. That, it's never a waste of time. The part of me that wanted to make a point so bad, like that fucking yeah. autistic part of me, was like, "You wasted your fucking time, you idiot." This guy wasn't listening to anything. But you know, I like I said, I wish anybody in that situation the, the fucking best. Like I do hope, genuinely, the best for every single party involved. Kind of, but like, yeah. I don't know, man. Talk, talking to some people on the internet, dude. Fucking, it, it sucks. Speaking speaking to some of these guys and trying to reason with them is something that I've given up on. And uh, at this point, I've just confirmed that I, I like to laugh at people. I like to I like to just laugh at stupidity on the internet, you know? Like, that, well, that's it's it. It's either that or cry, so you might as well laugh. Like, like the thing with Fousey right now, like, Fousey's situation, like, after that I airport incident, I was just like, oh, I don't really give a f what happens to this guy. I'm just going to laugh at this idiot. It is what it is. You know, like fucking some people I just laugh at and I call it a day. Um, I, I kind of like, for me, I, I don't really care about the concern trolling shit. Like I see it all the time, like people concern troll and I'm like, no, if you're a piece of shit, I'm just going to laugh at you. Like that's what the internet is about too, right? Like in some what, people what do you just mean concern trolling. 
I'm like, you know, people like the, who are sitting over there, like, I guess, Wayne, you can explain it the best. You've dealt yeah, with Yeah, like, quotes. if you're making fun of, like, some shit that Fousey did, and it's like, oh, that's kind of f- up of you to, like, make fun of that because he has mental problems and stuff. And oh, it's like, oh, like that, that kind trolling? of shit. I think that's just, like, posturing. Like, yeah. I, I, I just straight up don't care. If, if somebody's not willing to take care of their mental problems, like, if I come across, like, a guy that can afford to get, like, drug rehabilitation and they choose not to, then, yeah, I'm just going to make fun of you over your, over your life choices because you clearly could get them fixed. You just didn't. And uh, now you're now you're fucking fucking up because of it, and that's all I can do is just laugh at it, all right? Maybe that's the reinforcement people need. I'm a real believer in tough love. Like, if I ever had, like, a family member that was being a douchebag, I would just be the most hard-edged son of a bitch imaginable, right? Because I find that coddling people is just a waste of your fucking time, all right? You just sit there, nothing gets accomplished, and that's, that's pretty much it. Like, fuck that shit. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, what it comes down to. Yeah, look, I don't know. I feel like uh, a lot of people that get lucky on the internet and get really huge really quickly from doing stupid things, mm-hmm. and they just get sucked into the that void of just now suddenly you're famous, you have a target on your back, and people are attacking you, and the people that are going to accept you are the also really dumb, really famous people that also have targets on their backs for doing dumb things. And it's kind of a weird inbreeding that creates just the most toxic environment for everyone I, like I, when I see uh, Aiden Ross clips and I've seen a lot of them I don't think that he's a bad guy as much as I think that his entire world is surrounded by terrible people I can that see really that push him there like I don't think he's bad I think he's dumb I don't think he's a bad guy inherently mm-hmm. I just think he's dude, dude thinks the earth is flat like no one that thinks the Earth is flat is a bad guy. <laughs> They're just sad. Okay, but like, but like, can you, but we haven't ever on this podcast proven the Earth isn't flat. That's true. You know, Caleb is in a hot air balloon right now. Yeah, in the stratosphere. Yeah, what happened to him? Is he like? Did he die? Like what? Uh, I, I think he's just busy with the candy stuff right now. Maybe that's oh. what I have to assume. He probably forgot we rescheduled it today. To be honest. Oh yeah, yeah he might have right. been. He might be sleeping or something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's uh, he's it's um, like. The flat Earth shit, man. I'll be, I'll be real, dude. Like, I just entertain it at this point. Fuck. At this point, I, at this point, I just proudly will say that I am a flat Earth. It's just to fuck with people, you know. It is what it is. Like, I, I just don't really amazed. like. It's, it's just the one conspiracy theory that I fucking love. Like, yeah, UFO shit. I'm all about it, dude. Like, I'm always about the anal probing and all those fucking stories. I, w- I, I'll gladly go to fucking anal probe anonymous and just sit there and like witness all the stories people tell me and I'll believe it dude it's not like i know any better shit i used to get really worked up over flat earth conspiracies but like realistically looking at it it's like all right say hypothetically the earth is flat mm-hmm. what the f- am i gonna do about it oh you're gonna fucking <laughs> yeah, fall it's off probably, the edge bro it's probably more fun to just to let's fucking let people think you're a flat earther dude i i love like my favorite thing is is like so i used to hate facebook and I still do, don't get me wrong. I hate yeah, Facebook. It, it, garbage, absolutely garbage. Absolute platform. garbage trash. But the best part about Facebook are the fucking old people who are on the flat yeah. earth sites, okay? Because, man, yes. I'll tell you right now. So this is the greatest shit that I've ever heard. So here's the big counterpoint to the round earth theory, right? That we are all grown to believe. And that's, that's that NASA has been sending out 3D CGI images, right, of the earth. And it looks like a globe. So it's all fake, right? Because NASA did CGI shit. So what's the counterpoint that the Flat Earth has come up with? They make a 3D CGI image of the Flat Earth. And, and then I just ask the person in the comment section, I'm like, so if you're blaming NASA for faking this with CGI, you're also creating an image of what you think the Earth is with CGI. So isn't it like the same? It's immediately blocked. Immediately f***ing blocked. Like, immediately f***ing And I made this point, by the way, when I was so f***ing inebriated. Like, so drunk that I couldn't drive, so I stayed over in my friend's house. And I'm sitting on the couch whipping out the Facebook before I pass out. And I made this point while my brain cells were dying. And that's how easy it is to counter these motherfuckers. So I love any... And then, and then you go down even further, and then they get from the flat earth to, like, this is my favorite one, the f***ing... Lizard people at the center of the earth in Agartha. That's my... Agartha! F- Bro, that is yes. my favorite theory in the world, dude. Yo, Ju- Justin, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? My favorite conspiracy theory. You know, you could put, put, your, ha- put your hand in a, in a hat, all right? 
Pick, pick out JFK. Is it the president election was fake? JFK was so COVID? boring, dude. I, I'm no, just wait, saying. You're, you're yeah. by the way, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't mention COVID if it's your conspiracy. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's gonna... <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, would, I would do that to you guys' yeah. channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, election misinformation. The election was 100% true and honest, all right? Like Christine Chandler. We, we love that Honestly, shit. like, I'm a big fan of the ones that, like, I, like, back in the day I had one about um, Kurt Cobain and Rivers Cuomo being the same guy. But one we get a lot now these days is a, a person will take a picture of themselves or have its picture taken with a what's very clearly a lens with a different focal length. And people will use how your face looks different in different lenses to be like, oh, they replaced this guy with an actor. I love those. Cause oh, those are good. Those I've are good. Been, like, who, there was one... Re oh, I mean, they do that with that that fucking, uh, this guy's not real bitch. What's her fucking name? Tiffany Gomas. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the the plane lady who's like, that yeah. ain't real. Yes! I know what you're talking about. Dude, I, I, I honestly, I feel so bad for that lady. Like, she had a little... An episode and like the entire internet would just not let go. <laughs> I don't, I don't like. I don't feel bad for her. Like she had an episode that someone happened to record, and now everyone now she has a Wait, following because everyone thought she was hot. But didn't they dox her? Yeah, and, yeah. Like, they 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 yeah. fucking dox her. That's the part where I feel bad. I still want to know what the. F Saw, I mean, right? she's, it seems like she's playing it. I mean, she literally went back to the airport in the same outfit to be recognized. So I, she can't be that bothered by it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but there's a difference between getting recognized, like, at the airport and people coming to your house, I feel like. I, I get the impression that she's loving this right now. She probably had a moment where it felt like her life was over, but now she's loving it. Yeah, I mean, like, it wasn't even, like, a big deal, to be honest. Like, it's like, yeah, you no, whatever, like, you had an issue she on didn't an do anything. cool. She just had a freak out. She didn't really yeah. do anything wrong. But, but, I, but, okay, in retrospect, I heard that she, like, stopped the plane. Like, they, they like, emptied the oh, plane yeah, out. Oh, no, If I was on a plane, I'd be fucking tight. Yeah, I'd be fucking <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, but I mean, she, apparently she she so from what I, from the conspiracy that I heard, like she stopped the possible plane hijacking or a plane like attack or some bullshit like that. Um, oh yeah. So that's one of the conspiracies I heard. Like apparently she saw like some fucking reptilian hijacker or some shit. And now in retrospect, I'm like, even if you empty the plane, yeah, I'll take the extra layer of caution. You know, maybe she did see a fucking lizard hijacker. Who knows? You know, like nobody's ever disproven yeah. lizard people, so I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and True. say that she lied. Disproving lizard people is like disproving God. Just can't do it. You can't. You can't. You can't disprove. And listen, all right. I'll, I mean, even if there's just one lizard man on Earth, you have you would have to inspect every person that's ever lived to know. I mean, are you gonna do that? Like, we like, are you yeah. gonna are you gonna go down to every politician and shine a flashlight into their eyes and confirm if Obama isn't a lizard? Come on now. No, I'll let someone else do it then steal their research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then not fucking put the source in, Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe that's what we should get Maddox to do. Maybe, like, Maddox should just be, like, a fucking conspiracy debunker. Like, fucking go around and, like, disprove, like, fucking lizards and all that shit. And then everyone just takes this, like, shitty HTML fucking 5 webpage and just, like, grabs the info off of it. Man, that that it's guy. Like, God that damn. take is one of the best. Like, I, I am a... Uh collector of bad takes i love them bad takes are some of my favorite things on the internet so when i heard the take that you doing research on a story and not quoting the people where you found that research from for like a documentary of something that factually happened that is one and that that's plagiarism that's my favorite new take I I, love that so I, you know it's one thing it's like every like, time you make a meme are you allowed to say i am the one who knocks without crediting walter white from that, breaking that was bad actually, that was actually a point in the video that was actually a point in the no, video it wasn't. because no it wasn't. what had happened was wang you shared a meme and he he did the he did the oh, snow the, the, the steven the Steven Spielberg dinosaur fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, he did the Snopes fact checking and found the same meme or something posted on Facebook, a different platform yeah, po from which, a couple of way, years that ago. The post I made was in 2019. It was like one tweet I had that like got fucking up to retweets. Yeah, yeah, you got like 40,000 or something likes on it, so Wait, you kind of like jerk you off. For tweeting a meme that you didn't make. It, has this dude ever seen anything on the internet? And, he, and he's like, oh, well, you you fancy yourself uh, a meme meme expert, so you should have known that someone made this joke already in 2014. What? In what, you 2014. needed an iFunny watermark on your meme that you posted on x.com? This is the saddest thing I've ever heard. I okay, love it. Okay, to be fair, in Maddox's defense, 
Yes. You are a guy that gives tales from the internet, okay? If you're going to claim to have this PhD, you should know every fucking meme on the internet at any given second, okay? True. Brother! <laughs> true. He, got, he, got, he got my ass. Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> like, ne- next time you say, uh, you know, it's Morbin time, you have to credit the first guy who ever mm-hmm. tweeted, it's who, who Morbin was the first, time. Who was the first man who morbed? Oh, I actually know. It's uh, it's this Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber that made that Morbin time joke, and it got yeah. way out of his hands. He, oh, he, so it's, uh, nobody cited his sor- their sources. But I, but, and no one cites Rada Yu-Gi-Oh! for making up the Morbin meme so, until today. So wh- one of the things that I have to kind of bring up here... Is uh Wang, you're you're a follower of Chris Chan, I'm pretty sure. Like me. You're kind of. What do you think not... what do you think about the fact that Chris Chan got away with no charges on his on his heinous crime? Truly I heinous, heinous I, crime. I, I heard that it happened, but I didn't look at like the circumstances surrounding it. Like what was what what did the court officially say? Okay, so for people who people who are new and into the Chris Chan stuff, this is the most documented individual in the world. Um, there is nobody else in the world more documented than Chris Chan, right? Now, Chris Chan Love was it. caught two years ago um, raping their mother, okay? Pretty much what happened, right? Like, they had an incestuous relationship with their mother who was going through early dementia, maybe full-blown dementia, okay? Like, the way that she talked on camera. So, obviously, I shouldn't be the one to tell you that's very wrong, right? Like, it's pretty pretty fucking illegal, we all can agree. So Wow. Chris, that's Muda shoving his morals down our throats. I know, I, I'm... I'm, I'm more, I'm more, I'm morally grandstanding, <laughs> right? Like, don't, don't <laughs> your disabled mother. There you go. That's moral, <laughs> moral of the week. But, uh, but I just got a picture of Tommy C yelling about moral grandstanders yeah, exactly. in my head. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it, 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 so, so what happened was Chris Chan went to jail for for a year plus, right? And this is a situation where, like, the state had no idea how to process this case, right? Because not often that, like, this situation arises. And uh, after a long year of being held, the charges of incest and assaulting your disabled mother, I don't even know if that was the exact charge, but I have to imagine they probably tack something like that on, completely let go. Guy, she wasn't a, she wasn't a, she wasn't, she wasn't charged. There's nothing wrong. No reprimandation, which proves to a shadow of doubt. If you ever looked up Chris Chan's history, anytime law enforcement got involved, and let me let me explain wild law enforcement. This person has assaulted people in public by spraying bear mace or or, or pepper spray, sorry, at a GameStop employee because I shit you not, they changed the color of Sonic's arms. Okay, let's go. It sounds unhinged. I mean, right? to be fair, that is probably the most righteous anger that Christian has had. Because Sonic looks fucking stupid with blue arms. I'm sorry. I mean, he, I mean, true. he does. He and don't get me wrong, he so does. True. But but Chris Chan basically became the de facto like fucking uh, like Sonic Al Qaeda leader of the internet for a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> he he issued a fatwa against the fucking GameStop. <laughs> The other was when and it's funny because like right now you're kind of dressed like Sonic ought to look. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking ready. Oh. I'm, like, I'm, I'm into it. I'm always yeah. ready for Sonic, bro. That's a, that's how I knew about Chris Chan, dude. Like this, this Sonic. I used to be huge into that shit because my dad first game that he like really brought home for the Genesis was Sonic the mm-hmm. Hedgehog. We played it together. I was into that shit. And those, thank, the, those first games are. F- Awesome. Those first games were awesome. Everything after that is a pile of shit, and I'm surprised the amount of Stockholm Syndrome this fan base has over shit f***ing games. Yeah. So I got out of this franchise a long f***ing time ago. Okay, I was like, all right, I can't be, I can't be too close to this. All right, people here are wild. Now, what happened with Chris Chan is, uh, you know, he also hit and ran somebody, like f***ing hit him with the car, ran away, uh, got into trouble. I didn't know there. that? Yeah, wild f***ing scenario with this game store that he was constantly like visiting. And then finally, obviously, the mother incident came where he was sent to uh, jail and came out without any f***ing charges. So, once again, the guy could actually commit murder on camera with the f***ing but, murder weapon in hand and not get booked. But uh, did the judge crazy. say something? Like, was there a statement about the reasoning behind dismissing Chris No, not Christian that I could find like, over oh, here. Okay. Um, I feel I really like, like, I feel like to everyone that's a YouTuber at some point, it. everyone that's a YouTuber at some point has this weird immunity. Have you know? Can you think of like YouTubers that were really famous, even ones that committed like terrible crimes that not just went to jail, but were actually like charged to to the level of severity that they deserved? Like you have EDP running around, you have all these crypto scammers happening, and 
it's just mind blowing to me that you have all these people with literally more documentation than any rapist has ever had in history. Okay, mm -hmm. and they're they're running around, and there's somehow nothing the government can do. EDP is like, such a weird shit fucking scenario to me because it's like EDP is like hands fucking down. He like like. The, that case was specifically botched to no fucking end, right? Like, you know, they, Dude, there's so many dead to rights in um things of him like trying to hook up with kids. Yeah, but the problem there is, are. it's like it's like when you don't have that chain of command and the custody isn't right, like you get mm -hmm. over, right? And that's the technicality. Yeah, the technicalities is what any fucking, like that's probably why like prosecution wasn't gonna fucking bother wasting their time. Uh, which I still think is stupid. I think if somebody's, if you catch somebody in a sting operation talking to fuck or trying to hit up a twelve-year-old, they should be arrested, right? And the you thing, think, with, right? The thing with Logan Paul and the crypto zoo shit is it's so wild. Like he's putting up two million dollar bets to like Conor McGregor when that just proves that he could pay back the people that he fucking scammed with crypto zoo. But mm -hmm. obviously, the reason why he doesn't pay anybody back, and I've always said this. Uh, is that if he pays back, I think, even a dollar, that's admission of guilt. And then, like, any yeah. government could look at it and be like, oh, okay, well, I guess I guess you must feel bad about scamming the audience. Let's put some cuffs on you. So I assume there's a whole bunch of red tape that his lawyers tell him not to. Which is, it, it's wild to me, too, because, like, a lot of the people over here, and we've all been approached with, like, a fucking crypto scam to advertise at some point in our career, right? Yeah. Like, I'm sure that you've been hit with Wang coin, Nux coin, and then Muda coin for me. Well, Nux coin exists actually. But is it is it backed by you? No, they wanted it to be, but they just went ahead with it anyway. But but like so so these people create these fucking shit tier coins. They still like to this day the scam still works, right? Like there's still actual shitty scams in the crypto space that happen. Like I covered one called World Coin a while back where mother were sticking their iris data into like stupid bubbles around the world and they were what? getting paid like 50 dollars yeah so world coin so this is a this is a project by sam altman who's like mm -hmm. ceo of OpenAI and shit like that i was um, gonna say i know that, that guy so world coin is this in way for uh i guess using cryptocurrency in the blockchain to prove people are human beings right and separate individuals from bots and the way that they would do this is they would have these in specialized iris like balls you would look into it and you would give them your iris data right and it would they would basically be collecting a profile of actual human beings so what they did is they operated in africa so countries like kenya right where they went up to their people and they said hey come up to us we'll give you 50 dollars if you just put in your iris data now it sounds like a good deal except that they were getting paid in the cryptocurrency not actual money so they were giving you fifty dollars of their useless fucking coin and just creating a massive database of, of like individuals as like biometrics. Anyways, they got shut down by the Kenyan government. Offices got raided. The project kind of in like this weird fucking limbo and shit. And it, they they basically are taking advantage of like third world countries and just like grabbing their data and giving you like fucking basically five dollars worth of cryptocurrency in reality. I mean, they can say it's fifty wow. bucks, but yeah, it's a it's a fucking wild situation, right? It's like literally taking advantage of like the fucking, the most poor in society. It's just it's it's there's no fucking shame to it. I mean, recently, you know that BitBoy guy, that BitBoy crypto dude. No, I, yeah, that dude sucks. That was the dude that tried to fucking sue a tozy or some yeah. shit, right? Yeah, he got fucking kicked out of his company because apparently substance issues. And I'm gonna say it right now. I'm taking BitBoy's side on this one. You wanna know why? Because I've never seen a fucking fat dude. Can be addicted to cocaine and look that big still. I don't believe Dude, this yeah, shit to be a reality. It's hard to be a. It's hard to be a fat like. So the trick to being a fat cokehead, you have to like wait till you come down and then like eat a, eat a bunch of food and then fall asleep. That's how you get the fat cokehead. So he's like, he's a nighttime eater. Dude, he's a, he's a he's a weird dude. But so this guy gets fired. <laughs> this guy this guy gets kicked out of his company because you know a couple months ago when he was suing a tozy, it came out that he was basically t charging like. For, like five grand to like twenty thousand dollars for and stupid coin promotions and shit, right? Oh, I thought you were about to say he was spending twenty grand on coke. <laughs> Probably that too. Maybe <laughs> that too. I mean, coke is an expensive habit, like so maybe. <laughs> but yeah, these, these guys are getting screwed over. They're getting like thrown away. 
And I think it's going to be fun fodder years down the road. Because I do believe, I, I have to believe there's going to be like a police response to this, okay? It's too much money has been siphoned out. And we all know, we've all covered like law enforcement shit. It takes a long time for them to ever prosecute anything, Way right? Way like, like sometimes it can be years after the fact. And this is why, like, I, I firmly believe people like Logan and Jake Paul will be arrested by the FBI at some point. It's going to be big news, obviously. But the reason I believe this is because they've done so much shady crypto stuff that I have to believe the FBI is just, like, building up the juiciest case imaginable, you know? And when the time Are, do, comes... Do laws exist where they could do something about this? About what? Like cryptocurrency? Oh, about issues? like these crypto scams. Well, the thing is, the laws are still kind of catching up, right? Like the SEC yeah. is still discussing like which coins are securities, what isn't. But like looking at CryptoZoo as a whole, the way that it was pitched, the way that it was showcased, it's like it, it looks very illegal based under the actual like guidelines we have today. But again, even if something is illegal, when you like... People don't understand when the FBI chooses to prosecute on somebody, their conviction rating is like the high 90%, right? Meaning that when they build a case, that case is going to stick, right? Like if you're a fucking lawyer and you're going up against the FBI on a case, where you better you better cross your P's <laughs> oh, your toes. and dot your I's. You better make sure you have the slightest case of technicalities to go off of because they don't fucking hold back. Because it costs a lot of money to prosecute a case, and the FBI does not want to look like a fucking idiot. Like, they don't want to look like a fucking group of idiots and let this guy get away with it. So, when the hammer comes down, and come down at will, we're looking at some serious fucking jail time. We're looking at some serious fines. If it's not crazy jail time, they're definitely going to be fucking forfeiting assets and fining to the point where these guys aren't going to be social media multi-millionaires anymore, okay? They're going to be back down to fucking planet Earth. So... That's what I look at the situation. That's how I kind of look at it. That's how I kind of perceive it. And that's really what I sit here waiting for, you know? Because I think if there is actual justice, which there is, these guys will eventually have to fucking fade. That's why I've never done a crypto scan. That's why I've never jumped into that pool. Because I know it's only... Because I know if you do it, you're on somebody's list, all right? And the last thing you want to be on is, like, a law enforcement list of people that have done this fucking stupid shit, you know? But... True. I could be wrong. True. Hey, I mean, they There's could get no away with it. There's no amount of money that's worth just, you know, the amount of sleep lost worrying that someday it'll catch up to you. Yeah. Word. Yeah, and, and I mean, like, you know, if you got, like, a fan base that you want to, you know, take care of and the people that have put you there, the last thing you want to do or you should do is financially scam them out of a cryptocurrency well, that, project. that's, again, moral, <laughs> a moral know. grandstanding on Muda's part. But Hey, listen, uh, so, if, I, if I had the fan base of Aiden Ross, if I had an Aiden Ross or Sneeko fan base... <laughs> I'd be f***ing scamming them day in and day out. I, I, I don't even give a shit. If I, if I, if I had Aiden Ross's fan base of and like embryos, and the pendulum swings back to incredibly based Muda, dude, let's it, go. Would you? Okay, okay. Be honest. Would you? If you guys were Aiden Ross, would you not scam your fans? They're retarded. Dude, if I was Aiden Ross, I would definitely scam my yeah. fans because at that point, my reputation can't take a hit from it. Yeah, he's already scammed his fans. Wait, he's wait. admitted it. Justin, like, would you would you scam your fans if you were Aiden Ross? I feel like if it was Aiden Ross, I'd be too dumb to scam my fans. No, but that's dude, avoiding but, the question, no, no, man. That, that's, that's not what, okay, fair. Okay, we've seen right, milf that's some token, mustache bro. twirling not, Riddler yeah. answer. We've seen milf token. He's not that retarded. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's not that stupid. No, but like, but like, if I had a fan, he base, has some Jewish blood in his veins. You can figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> As you saying it, bro, that's not me. God damn. I got you. I got you. But like, but, but here, if I had the fan base of like Andrew Tate or like anybody, like, yeah, I'd be scamming them. I've met Andrew Tate fans in real life. They're fucking retarded. I would actually scam them. Yeah, my pff, dude, my nephews. <laughs> Dude, I had such bright look for my oh, nephews. No. I really did. I was like, man, these kids are going to be smart. I remember years ago, they were like, I, I want to be an engineer like you. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, I, you know what? You should do it. I, I can't wait for you to be an engineer. And now they're bald. Bro, close to it. Dude, no, I was off. joking. Yeah. No. They are probably uh, ninth grade now. Like ninth, uh, oldest one being in the ninth oh, grade. Good. Like about to get into the 10th grade actually now uh, after this year. Um, oh, you just made me sad. I was kidding. So, dude, dude, dude is like a full. Dude is like taking all of the Tate mannerisms, you know. Like, uh, oh, is he doing the this thing? Yeah, he does a hand vagina thing now. The, the hand vagina. He does a hand vagina. Let's thing go. Now. So now that I now that I see him, I'm like, 
I, I like if he if he ever came up to me and told me he got scammed by his favorite influencer, I'd be like, you know, son, you f-ing deserved it. Like it is. That what is, it is honestly, I, I hate to say it, that's the best thing that could possibly happen. To if them if right my now. if my kid was like following a tate or something, I would choose to like drink, f-ing leave the earth because I have no, failed at, no. in Minecraft, of course, in Minecraft, yes, in a video yeah. game. Because I have clearly I failed as a father. You know what I mean? I'm not there. <laughs> like goddamn. But yeah, I, I think I, I don't have any moral issues to end this video, to end this podcast off with, with scamming your fan base if they are as hearted as like Aiden Ross's fan base because they don't even give a shit. Like Milf, I love that take, bro. Like if 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 I scam my audience with Milf token, wouldn't even have a channel anymore. Aiden could do it. Fan base just eats it up. They say go king, secure the bag. Love that shit. Some days, <laughs> yeah. Some days, that's the kind of that's the kind of fan base you really want. Dude, some days I'm so fucking envious of that because I'm like, dude, I could literally say the most ridiculous shit I want, and these guys will eat it up. You know, Bro. it's like it's like being it's like being Homelander from the boys. You know, like at the end, literally, like you could literally like, and you could just do the worst thing imaginable, and people will eat that shit up. They don't even care. I'm like, in some ways. No matter See, but who Homelander's like somewhat cares about his image, which is hilarious. Like Homelander, the sociopath from the boys, mm-hmm. cares about his image more than Aiden Ross. That is like, true. That's that is actually honestly. really f-ing true. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just scared myself. That, that that makes that makes the rest of these guys even f-ing worse. And you know what? I I'll be real. Like am I am I jealous a little bit of the fan base? Absolutely. Ain't nobody gonna sit there and not be a little bit sad about it. Because Justin, when you make a video and you get a fact wrong, what does your audience do in the comment section? Um, uh, at zero second, zero uh, minutes and 38 seconds, you, you misspell the word. You accidentally yeah, wrote then right with an E the, instead see, of then like, with an A. Is, like, I never get a fact wrong, so I wouldn't know. Oh, but, but, yeah, because you're always using no, fucking like, facts no, from other people. Though, like, this kind of, uh, you know you why you don't get facts wrong, wrong Justin? You just pick the right people to plagiarize. If I, if I pronounce something to a, if I pronounce something incorrectly, though, they nail my ass to the fucking wall. Yo, true. <laughs> Dude, that's what I love. They do the same shit to me. Exactly. The same hour, minute, millisecond mark. Tell me where I f***ed up. And, and, and you know you know what they don't do to these other guys? They, they don't even correct them on anything. All right? In fact, if they say something factual and intelligent, they correct them there. It's like, whoa, buddy. Whoa, you're, 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 that's a Matrix speak right there, homie. You got to tone that back. You got to come back. <laughs> like, dude, you know where the punctuation stuff is really toxic? When you're making anime videos. And they expect you to pronounce things fluently in a perfect Japanese accent. Every yeah, so single go time. F- yourself. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do, bro? Yeah. I don't speak Japanese. I, you know, every time. You just, you just do it with, like, a fake Japanese accent, though. That's what like, I do. Oh, I started calling I, Full Metal uh, Alchemist Furumetura Alchemist, dude. And people love it. They love it. Dude, this, exactly. This, this is why, exactly. like, before I end this off, I think if I could redo the world and go into a different universe, I want to ask you guys is what kind of universe would you like to live in? Actually, I'll tell you guys my thing at the end. If you could redo everything and pick a specific like timeline to be in, what would your timeline look like? What like uh, a historical era yeah, or real time? Yeah, like like right now, like what would your perfect? So we're ideal... just doing like, so, like born in the wrong generation type shit right now. Kind of. No, no, no. Okay. Like born in the wrong timeline. Okay, a little bit deeper, a little bit thirteen and edgy shit. Damn. Um. Honestly, I'd probably pick about ten years earlier. <laughs> You'd be here 10 yeah, years earlier? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, like, I think, like, I feel like I would have did well as, like, an 80s guy. If, you know what I would do? This is where I was going with it. I would choose to live in a timeline where I had an exact clone like me. An evil version okay. of me. <laughs> oh, on the okay. internet. I, I see hey, what you really I, wanted. I, I would assignment completely. I would, kill, <laughs> I would kill to have a chance. Like, I would be doing the same videos that I was doing, but there was the there was an exact identical twin of me, except completely evil, completely degenerate, completely just, like, it makes everyone else on the internet look so morally superior and be just as popular as me, if not more popular, maybe most, maybe more popular than anybody else, and just, like, live in that world alongside him. I would love to see a mirror image of myself in the most evil, f***ed up way possible operating. That's what I would f***ing, that's the kind of world that I would, like, be and interested in seeing I would I would want to see the exact opposite version like the parallel universe version of me living alongside you know that's that kind of shit but damn yeah not not born in the wrong year I think I was born in the I right am decade. evil Muda. dude I am evil dude, Muda. Dude, dude we were all born in the right year okay we were all born True. in the right decade let's be honest there's yeah. no like if I if I was born in a time where like, I could make stupid videos about shitting and coming 
I would, I would be like probably fucking like I don't even know what kind of fucking job I'd have. I'd be like fucking uh. You'd probably be quoting your managing a Home Justin. Depot or some shit. Yeah, you would yeah, fucking. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Before we have this, what's 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 next for the Tales of the Internet? What are you what are you looking at next? I um I I just finished recording my Tub Girl video. Oh. That's a long time coming. Ooh. And it's one of those videos where it's like, I, I tried to make this video like three times in the past, I just wasn't happy with the available information, but then now I realize like, I can, there's enough stuff that hasn't really been talked about at length, where I have a video, it's it's similar to the Lemon Party video that I made, mm -hmm. but uh, when does, when's this podcast coming out? Next week. Next week. Okay, yeah, so ideally I think this video will be out, that video will be out before then. Alright, alright. Dude. I'm like... Check it out, gamers! Justin Wang. I love seeing him retweet stuff on Twitter. Follow him there, too. <coughs> yeah, you gotta... I'm, I'm gonna throw up thinking of Tub Girl, bro. That was a... You know what I'm <laughs> thinking of right now? Blow... The Blood Fly Girl or whatever the fuck Blow it was. Girl. Yeah. I'm thinking of that shit right now, dude. Shock internet sites were a fucking... Oof. God damn. Yeah, the good like, old days. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Justin Wang. Um, one of the Tales of the Internet. Maddox is... I mean, still me, but it was me as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, follow him at a uh, follow him at Justin Wang on YouTube. Any other channel you want to showcase? Um, yeah, I guess also like check out my new metal band Jinx. Oh yeah, I've been to a show, yeah, so it's pretty. Oh, dang. that's right, you were at a I show. Was at a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, check out Nux Talking, and if you want, check out me at Some Ordinary Gamers. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out. We are out.